In this video, I'm going to flush my power steering system on my 2009 Honda Civic. I purchased some power steering fluid from Amazon. This is genuine Honda stuff, which I do recommend. Our first step is we need to empty our reservoir here. So there's a couple ways to do it. The first one is to suck it out right here. I've even seen people use a squirt bottle here and they just take this and do it. So whatever works to get that out. Then we're going to turn the wheel and I made this to capture the fluid. We'll see how that works. I haven't actually used that yet. So, but let's get started and suck the fluid out. Oh, there we go. And I've got this jar here, which I'm gonna put it in. Those two things, one it tells me how old or dirty the fluid is at the end. And it keeps things fairly clean here. Let's see if there's any more I can get out. Go down to the bottom. All right, so it looks like we're pretty good here. So my next step is to remove the power steering return line at the reservoir. This is how all the fluid returns to the reservoir. Pretty simple. Get my pliers in there. Squeeze it. Pull it off. Then I'm just gonna pull that hose off. I've got some of these, but you can actually just use a screwdriver if you need to, or a pair of needle nose pliers. So let's see how this works. Yeah, it comes right off here. But before I do that, let's put a paper towel here, just in case there's some excess fluid. I don't need that to go all over the place. Pull it off. And there we are. Okay, so, so I've got this fitting here that's going to go into the hose. The size of this fitting is 3 8 I got it on Amazon and I'll leave a link in the description and the clear hose it's going to attach to. I got that at Home Depot and that's also 3 8 inch. And I'll go ahead and cut it. It's just extra. this hose there we go so the theory is when I start it it's gonna pump instead of the fluid back into the reservoir it'll be pumping it through here into here our next step is we need to plug up the return line here and I just cut off a piece of tube. Got a pair of needle nose here to get in there. So I just want to get this clear hose over the nipple. Once I do, I'll just bend the clear hose just so it doesn't leak. The reservoir isn't under any kind of pressure. So this will be okay. Now we'll go ahead and get some power steering fluid.
If you look, this is the old stuff. And the new stuff here, pretty clear. I'm gonna start the vehicle for just a second. Let me put this back in. And what I want to happen is I want some of this fluid to go into my power steering pump. Uh, in return, it should be coming out into here. So let's see how that works out. At the end of the video, I'll show you how to make the mayonnaise jar with the fittings and the hose attached to it. You can see how dirty that is. So what I don't want to do is run out here. So let's fill that up again. When you start the engine, that power steering fluid is under a lot of pressure. That's why it filled that container really quick. So what I just did was I filled the power steering pump with fresh fluid. Now what I'm gonna do and remember, I have the wheels off the ground. I'm going to turn the steering wheel all the way to the left without the engine running. That will push the fluid out of the steering gear into the container. You don't want to do this when it's running because it'll be under high pressure. This is why we raise the wheels so it's easy to turn the steering wheel. Now I'm going to turn the other way. And that should push more fluid into the container. All right. So let's go ahead and check our reservoir, fill it up. Filled up once again. I'm going to turn the wheel once again. As you can see, the fluid's looking a lot cleaner. Still got quite a bit in here. I'm going to do this one more time. Come this way. Now let's go back the other way. Going to the right now. Now I'm going to go towards the middle. I'm going to check it once again. Fill it. Now I'm going to start it again just for a second. There it is. Now, if you look at this now, this is all fresh fluid, all clean. So it's clean throughout the whole system. Um, so now let's go ahead and just put everything back together. Adjust the level. And we're good. Let's go ahead and top this off. There's our perfect level. Put our cap on. So here's the old fluid right here, and right here, that's the new fluid that's in it now. I hope you learned something in this video, and if you did, consider subscribing. And thanks for watching.
So I wanted to show you how I made my power steering flush machine. I purchased these off Amazon. They're 3 8 fittings. Came with the washers and the nuts. So you'll just take a mayonnaise jar. That's what this is. You'll space these where they need to go. So go ahead and drill two holes. Place this lid with the one I already did. Take your fitting. And just screw it in. Your second fitting. And screw this one in also. A washer a nut a washer and a nut here's the one I already built right there and then here's our hose it goes on top of that like so and then we have one more extra one for the power steering return line. Oh, one last thing. We gotta name it. There you go. It's the power steering flush machine. <laughs>